Hello! So today I'm going to be looking at um, a certain endangered species. I'm just gonna go and see and learn a little bit about them. I hope this will be a very productive and educational video. And today I have chosen Penguin! Pangolins! Or is it Pangolin? Pangolins. How do you pronounce that? All right, critically endangered, the most trafficked animal in the world. Aww. Largely hunted for its meat and scales. <laughs> there are eight different species of pangolin across two continents, Asia and Africa. They vary from vulnerable to critically endangered. Thank you to all the people. They are also known as scaly anteaters. Yeah, it looks like a scaly anteater. Oh, they play in the mud. Oh, I'm gonna. It's adorable. This is news. I need to look at it. Privacy error. How dare you? Let's find out more about them, but not before looking at the images. Does it not have ears? Is that its ear? Look at that hole. It's got adorable eyes and a cute little nose. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. That is cool. That looks like a freaking dragon. Look at that. The scales and it's like curled up. That is. Eh. <laughs> It looks like an old lady's. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Do you have any more I can play in? Five arrested for penguin possession and penguin porn. My god. That was a sight I didn't really need to see. China makes its biggest seizure of endangered penguin scales. They're estimated to have come from at least 20,000 nocturnal penguins are in high demand in countries like China and Vietnam. Why you gotta attack their scales? Why are they in high demand? Who? What? <gasps> Who did this? Malaysia. Why would you do that? Oh my God. You didn't just light the scales on fire. You light the whole freaking animal on fire. Torched three tons of seized scales of endangered penguins worth nine million to deter illegal wildlife trafficking from Africa. Oh, I hope you're happy. In traditional Chinese medicine, the scales are used for a variety of purposes. A variety of purposes. Can you please elaborate? Medicinal use. Oh, it's used in a lot of nations. Look at that. Nigeria, Ghana, Botswana, Syria. Oh, you also have your non-medicinal beliefs. Like, oh yes, this, this is helpful for some reason. We don't know yet. The type of traditional medicine being described below has not been scientifically tested and is being described for their cultural uses of the pangolin. They use scales, bones, and the head, the head. The freaking head, the cutest part of them, to treat stomach disorders, gonorrhea, menstrual periods, cure genital itching or swelling, heal wounds and cuts, treat stroke, and serve as an antidote for both sexual poison and regular poison. Sexual poison? You mean like STDs? Yo, if you wanna, if you wanna heal your wounds, just use aloe. Aloe is proven to be amazing at healing. Can you please use this plant, which is like not endangered, to heal your boo boos? The head is used by this tribe to treat mental illness. But how? Why can't we just send a bunch of our countertop medicine over and be like, hey, here you go. Parts of the pangolin are used for Ethnomedicine, such as meat, flesh, and eyes. Ethnomedicine. is a study or comparison of traditional medicine based on bioactive compounds in plants and animals. Countries with no access to actual Western medicines have to resort to using nature, such as aloe. <laughs> no, such as sad, endangered species. In Botswana, it's also used for ethnomedicine. Use scales, hearts, blood, lungs, and stomach. Use it all, why don't you? I'm gonna look up more cute images because this is making me sad. <laughs> oh, that's just chilling in the tree. Ah, oh, that's cute. Just to stumble upon this one day. It has such a small head, but a big ass body and even a bigger ass tail. It is crazy. I just, it's, it's cool. Oh, yes, baby. I love how its tail just curves around the tree. I like how it curves in general. It's so cool. Well, there's a world pangolin day. I'm gonna celebrate this day. When threatened, a pangolin rolls up in a ball like a hedgehog. 
Sometimes it lashes out with its tail, the scales on which can easily cut a predator's skin. Good for them. As a final deterrent, these curious creatures can emit a noxious smelling acid from glands near the anus, similar to that of a skunk, although they do not spray the liquid. Wow, it is like all the animals combined. You got your armadillo, you got your hedgehog, your skunk, a dragon. It looks like a freaking dragon. It got an anteater. They got all these animals together into this one cute little baby. Originated some 80 million years ago. 